G'day guys, Graham here. Just at a property, just about to settle next week in Parmelia. It's obviously another renovator um, property that I'm gonna flip. So purchased off a great guy, Glenn, who's just over there. Um, situation was, I, it's an off-market purchase. I did a letterbox drop, which obviously you guys know I do a lot of. Um, but basically, Glenn was looking to move down to Narragin, so wanted to offload this one. Um, property obviously needs a fair bit of work, so we are gonna do a complete gut of the property. And yeah, basically what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take you through and give you a bit of a look throughout the property. So you can see what it looks like now, and then throughout the reno, we're gonna do you know, a few more of these videos, just so I can show the different stages of the reno from start to finish. And then obviously at the end, I'll have you back so I can show you the, uh, the finished product. Anyway, let's go have a look inside. All right guys, we are inside. So this is a four by two home. Now, this room, as you can see, the house is very much like this throughout. So very, very messy and dirty. Can't say too much because the, the owner's just outside. But look, obviously you've seen my renos before. This one is gonna obviously look brand new inside. So I'm not really changing too much. It's just gonna be purely cosmetic. But essentially, you know, this room here, you know, it'll be completely painted. It'll have new oyster light put up and it obviously has some nice hybrid flooring you know, on the floors. So that's pretty much it in this room. Um, just basically gut it out with the old and in with the new. Take you through here. <clears throat> now this was, it was a four by two, but he's kind of converted it to a three by two and added a retreat. So I'm gonna convert it back to a four by two. So this is the master bedroom. All right, so as you can see, it's quite the, uh, the treat. So this is a master bedroom. He's using this as a retreat in here, but I'm gonna convert this to the fourth bedroom, which it actually is. So you can kind of see here where the door is that it was originally a bedroom, the fourth bedroom. So obviously we'll open that back up and we'll obviously seal off this here. So that way it can be the fourth bedroom. But again, you know, obviously, you know, it's pretty simple obviously with the bedroom, there's not too much to it. You know, we'll obviously be painting the whole thing, cleaning it all up, you know, new hybrid floor. So hybrid floor throughout the whole house, including the living and the bedrooms. The only tiling will be in the wet areas. Um, yeah, like I said, oyster lighting throughout. Oyster lighting's a good option because, you know, it makes the photos look amazing. They look clean. Obviously they're not as, you know, fancy as down lights or anything like that, but they still look, you know, they still look really, really clean. And they give off good light for the photos and home open and stuff like that. All right, ensuite. Uh, this is, uh, I probably can't even fit in the ensuite while you're having a look, but as you can see, it's an absolute disaster. So, yeah, so it needs a lot of work, but so hence it's gonna just get completely gutted. It's very, very small, so I've got a really small space to work with. Um, so, yeah, obviously we'll have another small vanity in there, toilet, and yeah, shower. But again, it'll be completely gutted, it'll be completely, you know, retiled. New toilet vanity, shower screen, and um, fan and all the rest of it. So completely renovated and yeah, reconstructed essentially. All right, let's uh, move on down the hallway. So this is obviously the bed two that I was just talking about. So that will have the entrance into there. And then this one's bed three. <clears throat> so it is a small four by two, but the investors, as long as it's a four by two, it gets the four by two price. So. Obviously this area has been hot with investors for some time and that's been who I've been, you know, that's been the buyer of all my properties. So I've been, you know, just essentially doing an investor spec, you could say it, because I know what they want. They're more worried about the rental return rather than, you know, the actual spec itself. So just a nice new clean house is what we need to do. So same as the other bedrooms, new hybrid floor, painting, light, that's about it. All right, so this one was, it's a definitely a bit of a, a you know, it, the size is not ideal. Um, it's a bit poking, that sort of stuff. So living area, I'm gonna have to have the ceiling fixed throughout because there's obviously, you know, bits and pieces to the ceiling that need, you know, this is, this is also, you can have a look here. Um, yeah, that needs, you know, some redoing. And then likewise, there's an issue in the hallway of the bedroom. So this kitchen is really, really small. It, measurement wise, it just doesn't work to have them both sides. So it's only gonna be an L-shaped kitchen. Um, these here are really, really small. And obviously the kitchens that I use are, you know, sort of, they're off the shelf essentially. So they're not, so anyway, so to make it not so crammed, that'll come out. I'll have 
basically fridge pantry that side and then along here and we're also going to have a bench space here with this will be like the cutlery drawer and so on so really small but again just completely gutted out with the old in with the new hybrid floor throughout new obviously new isolite oops new cook new cook uh kitchen appliances All right, so that's the kitchen. And then we come down to the back of the house. So we have the fourth bedroom. So again, it's a bit crammy in here. But yeah, I've, I've just ordered the, um, the skip bin for him because yeah, so but sometimes when you're doing these sorts of deals, you gotta be creative. So that he didn't have the money to pay for the skip bin and he didn't have the money to pay for the deposit for his new purchase. So I've paid that and that's just coming off the purchase price. So it's always about creating a win-win, you know, finding out what you can do to make the deal work and that's what we've done in this situation. So skip bin actually rocks up tomorrow. Settlement is next, a week today um, for, yeah, so he's got a week to, you know, to get all these stuff into the skip bin and he's got a truck taking everything from here down to his new property. He's bought an acreage property down in Arrogen. So anyway, obviously another bedroom look exactly the same. Obviously roll of lines throughout. You know, you've all probably seen my renos, so you know exactly what I do. Pretty much all my houses look the same because I have, you know, created a cookie cutter model that I continually just rinse, repeat. Um, you know, once you know who your market is, and you know who your buyer is, you just keep doing the same thing. So this is the bathroom. Um, Again, you know, it'll just be completely gutted and we'll uh, have a new vanity and a new shower in here and so on. So out with the old, in with the new. Um, obviously he's done the full height tiling in here already. So yeah, so I'll likely just gut the whole lot and, uh, and redo it. And toilet, same thing. Um, you know, I'll just gut it and make it all new again. It's cheap to do. And then likewise with the laundry, laundry will be tiled and then yeah, just completely gutted. So you can see the, you know, a bit of peeling that on the, on the roof up there, but essentially I think there's another room. Yeah, here it is here. Have a look at the manhole here. So yeah, the manhole, which is, you know, there's obviously ceiling fix has got a bit of work to, to get all that sort of sorted as well. So yeah, ceiling work, ceiling fix is not on every job, but I find my ceiling fix is on probably probably at least every second job because usually houses that are quite run down the ceilings are quite average as well so yeah so with this house completely gutted you know basically you know first day uh first first two days after settlement the uh, first day after settlement i'll have my plumber and my sparky come and do disconnect and then that way in the next couple of days and probably next two or three to four days after that uh, my handyman can come and do demo and uh, my tiler can come and do de demo in the wet areas and yeah, basically bring it back to bare bones and then yeah, basically in with the new. So we'll go outside, have a look outside. This one actually has a really, really good shed, which is awesome. Um, so this area is loved by owner occupiers because there's a lot of tradies in this area. So they love your, they love, um, here he is, Red Dog. Um, <laughs> They love sheds and that in this sort of area. So having this, this shed here is gonna be a big, big winner. Um, so it's, it is new, he's only just erected it. It's all council approved and everything, but obviously it just needs a bit of paint here. He's got the paint here. I've told him to leave the paint behind. Um, but if we come in here, someone's gonna love this shed. He's got a mezzanine up here, uh, which would be great for someone from for some storage. But as you can see, just on the size of this, this shed, um, yeah, it's a real sort of tradey sort of tradey shed, really. So, uh, so someone's gonna love it. You know, if an owner occupier buys this house, which, I, like I said, there's a lot. I sell more to a lot more to investors in this area, but if it is an owner occupier that buys it, they will no doubt be someone buying it for the shed. All right, and so outside, good thing is there's grass at both the front and the back, so I don't have to spend too much money on you know on the grass and retic side of things. But obviously, there's going to be a fair bit of tidy up stuff that needs doing. Um, so if we have a look out here, you know, we've got, that looks, you know, neat and tidy, so I can just probably, you know, neaten it up essentially. Um, and then, you know, patio and stuff like that, I can just, you know, paint the patio. Once all the crap's gone, it's actually not gonna, you know, look a lot better. Um, yeah, so, pat you know, patio, I'll paint it. Um, 
And the front of the house, something I didn't mention at the front, I will either just paint the front of the front elevation or I'll render it. So either either, I haven't decided yet. Typically, I normally render and then just paint it afterwards, paint the uh, sand render. Anyway, um, if we go around this side, so one thing I do need to check is that the, that the uh, patios are all council approved. It's something I haven't done yet. If they're not, I'll probably just get retrospective approval. And, but yeah, it's a bit of an enclosure in here, a bit of a wrap around. So um, yeah, whether or not I move this and, and turn it into more of a just traditional patio, that's something I might do and just open this up so that way it can be used as a traditional patio. And, um, and yeah, and then there's obviously just, you know, more stuff here that needs to be, you know, sorted and cleaned up. All right, so just a bit of a summary of the deal. So I actually settle on a week today. So today is, I've forgotten the date, the 19th of June. So we settle on the 26th of June. So it's good timing. I'm just finishing my other deal um, at Kelmscott. Actually, that gets staged on the 24th, so perfect timing. So I, I am going to settle on this on the 26th. Like I said, I've got a couple of uh, tradespeople coming straight away to disconnect after settlement, and then the demo will happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add I'll probably have four or five different stages after today throughout the uh, renovation process. And then at the end, after it's sort of finished, I'm going to show you the different process, the, you know, the progress, I should say, of the actual renovation. So I'll show you what the place looks like after demo. I'll show you what it looks like after it's been, you know, tiled and, you know, and, and you know, once it's been had fit off and that sort of thing. I'll, I'll do those different stages to show you exactly from start to finish how you can finish a renovation in five or six weeks like I do all the time. Um, the other thing I, I will mention as well is I've actually got another renovation starting in about two and a half weeks after this one. So I've got one starting in Rockingham. So who knows, maybe I'll even do the same for, for the Rockingham one. Depends if uh, the great man Putra, the videographer, wants to uh, jump on that one as well. But anyway, just wanted to yeah, show you the project and what I'll do in the next video is I'll share you know, my feasibility and my numbers and, and um, yeah, what I expect to, to make from this deal. Thanks guys.